Okay, we're just gonna call this out right now. It's about 8.30 in the morning. I've slept in and I have, you can see it? A massive sleep scar right here. Look, if I'm gonna be filming me waking up early in the morning to do gardening, we gotta normalize this stuff. So I'm just calling it out right now. public holiday today but I'm also going to work <laughs> how that happened don't ask me I thought that I would just get a couple of chores done I keep mentioning that my dad is gonna build these shelves well my dad did build these shelves we just need to get them to our place but basically it's gonna elevate a number of the pots off the floor and this is my solution for actually just keeping making making it super easy to sweep the balcony floor because when you've got like about five billion pots here moving stuff around to like clean the balcony floor you're not gonna do it that often if it's if it's gonna be a hassle and, and the bottom like they're not gonna be super high like they're gonna have just enough room so that I can get a really big um, what do you call it like brush and just sweep under like very easily sweep underneath and, and um, get in and clean that floor it's all gonna just happen very incrementally like I'm a normal person with a normal amount of time on my hands for a hobby so you know I, I'm, I'm not gonna do those magical one-day makeovers it's just not gonna happen but I'll take you along the journey I hate the word journey, but for lack of a better word, I'll take you along the journey of transforming this balcony into a place where I really love sitting. I mean, at the moment, I love my garden. I love it, but it's not really a place where I can kind of like relax because there's so, like, I'm constantly bumping into small pots that are like on the floor and it's, it's just super annoying. It doesn't make it a very nice experience to just kind of like be out here and relax and fully enjoy the plants. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay. Let's do it. You may remember that this flower, this Trichoceras, flowered in the video before, and it's fully, look at that, it's fully about to pop again. This is ready to go, I think. Oh my gosh, ooh, that came right off. This is one of the Trichoceras pups and it's gonna get a bloom. And there's another two coming right here. It just blooms all around, I can't take it. This needs some top dressing as well, so maybe... Is that something I want to do now? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Oh, oh my god. Whoops, okay. I'm gonna find some top dressing. Oh, that looks so good. This is just um, rock dressing from Bunnings. I think it's like their mix. I don't know what it's called. General mix. Oops, oops, oh my god, it's going everywhere. Ouch, let's just... I don't know if that's going to show up on camera, but that is the top dressing. disturb it. This is an Echeveria kissing here. When this does really well, it's a beautiful like red pink color. I don't know why it's not doing so well. Probably because I neglected it over the winter. That's probably what happened in all honesty. I'm not too sure if I should experiment with like just chopping it off at the top and then seeing if it grows some babies. Now's probably the time to do it, actually. Should I be brave? I'm a little bit scared. You know what? I'm feeling a little bit courageous this morning. Ugh. So I'm gonna do it. So I think what I have to do is kind of like chop it off here. I'm just gonna do it. Good luck to me. I think I'm doing it correctly. If I'm not, you can tell me in the comments. 
Did I do that correctly? I don't know. Anyway, I'm glad I chopped that off because it's got a little bit of mealy in it and I'm going to clean that up and just probably set it on top of some water. And you can grow for me, hey? You can grow for me. There's a little crest in here that just doesn't seem to be doing so well. It's kind of getting hidden by everything. I don't know if it's attached to another plant or if I can just take it out. I might just leave it in there for now because I don't, I don't know where else I can put it. I'm just going to take off all the dead leaves. Wow, that's got mealy everywhere. It's along the stem, so I think it'll be fine. Spiders are going to make their webs all the time, so I feel like I'm going to be brushing cobwebs forever. But the thing is, if you don't stay on top of it, it'll just get away from you. I don't think I've told you yet, but we got a Euphorbia Ingens, this one here. I just potted it up yesterday. Ingens are quite expensive on Marketplace. There's people selling ones that are this size for like 200 I've seen them go for like $400, $500 on Facebook Marketplace. This one's from Marketplace, but we bought it for about 80 bucks, which is great considering the size. It's very pretty and I have very high hopes for it. Look at it glow. I keep this tag here so I can remember the name of this mammalaria, but I don't want, I think I just want the name. I don't need the picture of it. I just need the name. So I'm going to chop this off. That way, it's not blocking it in any kind of way. And until I remember the name, that label is going to live there. I also bought these Bronze Delights from Bunnings because they were very cheap. They cluster really well and when they get enough sun, it, it's so beautiful. It's just gorgeous. Like these ones up here. Anyway, I'm not going to fully plant these rooted. I'm just going to pop them in as cuttings. Uh, yeah. Oops. If you can be bothered, all of these can grow babies. I might just set them aside somewhere. Set and forget. Because I honestly, I don't have the patience for leaf propagation. It just takes too long. Generally what I do is I set these leaf props aside. If they survive, they survive. And if one of these ends up with like a little plantlet at the end, I might chuck it in a pot, like literally chuck it in. I don't plant it, I don't bury it. If it starts to grow roots, I might just be like, I'll just place it in a pot and uh, hope for the best. And if it thrives and grows into a plant, great. If not, I'm, I'm really not too fast. Take old friend Clonex here. Dip it in. I just do this if I can't be bothered waiting for it to harden off, which I never, ever have the patience for. Oh, maybe two is all I need in there. Yeah, just gonna, honestly, this is barely touching the soil. Um, they're just gonna do what they do. Again, I keep this tag here because I know I'm going to forget the name and I think we're going to get some blooms here. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I'll try and zoom in as much as possible. Cute! Oh! Wow, what's... Oh, this has just fallen off and it's got a, like, a sap on it. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's got a sap, a funny kind of sap, and it's got sap around the, um, Part where it was attached to the stem. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I'm gonna have to research that a little bit later. I can't seem to find the big makeup brush that I was using. This is what happens. I put stuff down and I, that I was literally using about 20 seconds ago and then I can't find it. So frustrating. What the heck? Is this a bug or a fungus of some kind? Let's see if we can get in and have a closer look. Yeah, I don't know. Oh wow. Oh my god, this is all just falling off. Should I chop this? Yeah, I'm gonna just chop. 
Ah, it's a f***ing caterpillar. Live in action. There you go. Eating my plants. You can die. Oh wow, I didn't record any of that. So I just removed some of the leaves around here. Um, this, this sap here, I'm not too sure if that's something the caterpillar did or if it's something wrong with the plant. I think it might just be from the caterpillar, so I'm just going to leave it, see what it does over the next couple of days, and then, you know, if it's something worse, I'll just chop it off. That's what we do here. If we don't like something, we get rid of it. Oops. <laughs> Getting stuck on the cactus spines. That's not gonna fit. There we go. Ouch. None of the cuttings that I put in this morning are properly planted into soil by the way they're just kind of hovering and they'll be fine trust me Boo. That sucks. Let me see if I can. If any part of that is salvageable. No! Oh wow, they're just falling off. They're just falling the freak off. Okay, I'm just gonna take all of this out. I don't even know what that was. Was this a Hercules? Oh well, it happens. Alright, that's enough work out on the balcony this morning because it's starting to get hot and I need to get moving. I'm wondering if it's worth stopping by the nursery before I head into work. I'm going to see if I can do it. gonna end the video there. It was nice to visit the nursery. I wasn't really looking for anything. I just thought it'd be a lovely thing to do just before I went to work. I did walk away with two things. I got this little floating vase which I thought was kind of like really cool. You can't really see how nice and dark blue that is but there's no there's no drainage hole at the moment so I'm gonna try and drill a hole in it which I've never done before so that'll be an adventure and probably a video on its own. And then I bought this 
an orchid. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm turning into an orchid person, but look at these flowers. Aren't they precious? Aren't they beautiful? This is a Sarcochilus orchid and it's an Australian native. Oh God, it's outdoors. I thought orchids were indoors. Isn't that what orchids are all about? Keeping them indoors? It says outdoors here. Does that mean definitely not indoors? I thought, but that's what orchids are all about. They're all about being indoors. Okay, well that's going to be another adventure. I'm going to go to work now. Oh mate, I'm starting to sweat like crazy. So I'm going to turn the AC on. Yeah. Let's get the AC happening. Oof. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe or consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already. It helps me out a lot. It does. All right, catch you in the next video. Bye.